Hey everyone, you want to create your own little Minecraft land in Blender? You can create these little islands you can see here, you have super detailed stuff, even have caves where you can add stuff. In general the options are limitless, you can go from a super tiny land to something super big. And all of that with just some simple clicks in this add-on called Minecraft World Blender. First of all, go to the Blender market and search for the free add-on MC World Generator. I also have a link in the description if you want to download it directly from there. Download the free version and you will get a zip folder. In Blender you can go to Edit Preferences and under Add-ons you can hit Install. Just select the zip folder you just downloaded and click on Install Add-on. After that, activate the add-on and you are good to go. On the right side here, click on this arrow to see all the add-ons you have and under there, there should be Minecraft World Blender. Simply press create and you are good to go. In this stage, you can see you have already all the elements, the trees, the animals, the plants, the ores and now we can just play around with different settings. Area setting means how big the island is, so if we go one, it's like just some few blocks if we go to 8 you can see it, it just gets bigger in diameter. The noise scale means how high the blocks are so if we go 10 we have a way bigger island, if we go to 1 we have just the blocks at the bottom. With the noise size we can change how big the hills are so if we go to 1 they are like super high and everything is super noisy. If we put this to 0.1 it's like some super clean and smooth hills. As with every seed we can just skip through it and have some different worlds generated with the settings we have at the top here. With the asset density we can change how dense the trees, the animals and the plants are. So if we lower this it actually gets way way more crowded and if we up this again to 0.9 it's like more separated. The tree density only controls the trees, so if you want some more trees you can play around with this. And the animal density, I think you already know what it means, if you up this, the more animals you have. To get the best out of this add-on, I would recommend to use the cycles renderer and either just use a sunlight, let's rotate this a bit, up the strings, so we have some, some better lighting. Or you can use an HDRI which gives the whole thing some, some nice shadows. The only downside is that the textures and the animals are not super super detailed so you can't get a super close up shot. But for some other cool ideas this is great. Also you can go into the caves and as you can see lava also emits light so you can also get some super cool and clean shots from here. Yeah, that's it for this add-on. I hope you can use this for your future projects or something. And I see you the next time. Bye, guys.